Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is your video match report covering the game on Good Friday between Southern United FC and Malmesbury Victoria who came to town um, chasing promotion. Um, one of the best sides in the league, free scoring, brilliant side. Um, I think our second in the league um, past, uh, uh, just behind the uh, their champions, um, uh, Hartford University. So um, obviously a tough game for Southam, not made any easier by the uh, inclement weather conditions. We seem to have had almost ceaseless rain here in Warwickshire for the last two or three months um, and uh, it was such and go as to whether the game was actually going to be on at all um, and uh, and fair play to the ground staff um, and everybody associated with the club the volunteers obviously shout outs to them for getting the game on I think it the decision was taken earlier on in the day to play the game um, after which there was yet another downpour um, which had which had left the pitch in extremely challenging conditions there was a fair bit of standing water very boggy um, but uh, but credit to everybody including the players obviously getting out there and just getting the fixture played um, so uh, so massive credit to everybody there um, the opposition, obviously, as I've said, Marsbury Victoria chasing a playoff position, obviously, um, scored a lot of goals this season and uh, and clearly a very good side. So it was always going to be, you know, a tough fixture for Southam. Um, not an awful lot riding on it from the home side's point of view. Um, really just, you know, a, a, you know, the, the game was an effort to finish strong at home um, in this Easter weekend double header. So um, in terms of the lineup. Uh, I'll put that up on screen for you here. Um, but uh, Lewis Hudson uh, continued between the sticks. We had a debutante um, in Jack Shepard, recently signed uh, to the club, uh, playing at fullback. Um, the uh, centre half pairing of um, uh, Ryan Harris and Craig Watkin, um, with Kyle Linford um, on the other side at fullback. Andy Yeats and Ellis Champkin starting for the second game in a row in the centre. Uh, James Foley, Josh Turton um, and Shane Osborne um, completed the midfield with uh, Edward Kostyuk um, playing uh, in that uh, in that number, number nine position. On the bench we had Ruben Wilson, Taylor Baldwin, Ben Salis, who'd started the, uh, the the last few previous games, so he was given a rest this time out, Bradley Goddard and Sean Watkins. So, good side, some rotation, obviously, as you'd expect at this stage of the season, using some of the squad, so good to see some new faces, um, obviously, of course. Um, Southam started the game for me really well. Um, you know, they, 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 they certainly didn't look cowed um, by the calibre of the opposition. Um, Josh Turton was in um, for a couple of chances early on. Um, the first one um, when was in the second minute when he scraped the ball just wide um, after a, after a neat turn and, and a smart counter. Um, he had another another effort about six minutes later. Um, unfortunately, his control let him down um, in the area, which was a shame. Um, as the as as the sort of uh, you know the, uh, the the early part of the game wore on, Malms we started to find their feet. Um, I think probably they were struggling with the surface um, just as much as obviously the home side were. Side were. Um, Craig Watkin had, had chucked himself um, in front of a Malmesbury effort. Some brilliant um, individual defending from him there, as usual. You know, always a solid performer. Always puts in. You know, you can always get guarantee a, a seven out of ten from him every week. So, so uh, so uh, uh, brilliant from him. Um, and you know, Southam managed to repel the vast majority of what Malmesbury were throwing at them, and they did start coming forward, um, you know, quite intensely after you know 15 to the, the 15 or 20th minute mark. Um, Debutant Jack Shepherd um, acquitted himself really well. Um, was very impressed with his work in the early stages, and uh, and shout outs to Kostyuk as well um, up front, who I hadn't seen an awful lot of. Um, but every time he got the ball, I thought he was very tenacious um, in uh, in obviously holding up the play um, and bringing the players around him, you know, into uh, into the game, um, which you need um, particularly in a game like this where you're going to be under the cosh, you know. So uh, so so fair play to him for that really good performance. Unfortunately, in the 37th minute, the resistance was broken. Um, therefore, with Danny Goodger, he latched onto a yeah, a bit of a loose pass in midfield uh, and raced through to finish smartly underneath Lewis Hudson. They then just doubled uh, doubled their advantage five minutes later. Um, um, with a neat cross across goal um, that was sent uh, sent flashing across goal for a tap in at the near post or at the far post I should say um, so uh, so yeah Kostyuk did have an effort um, a, a smart turn and shot just shortly before half time um, that kind of sort of rattled wide I, th I've, I got the feeling watching it that if somebody had a gambled on a run to follow it in there was possibly something there but there you go um, that's football. The second half um, started much how the first ended. Really, they'd established themselves well, Malmesbury, um, and, uh, and 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 it was you know kind of sort of it was a little bit of a backs to the wall performance from there on in. A um, couple of good efforts from a uh, bit of attacking play from Southam, unfortunately denied by the linesman's flag. 
um, and, uh, and and then really kind of once uh, they they got their third when uh, when Ryan Havis was uh, was essentially left for dead on the edge of the 18 yard box um, and let in Kyle Witt who was very impressive and shout outs to him he was he put in a really impressive performance for the visitors um, let him let him in to extend that uh, that that lead to three. Uh, there were some other efforts um, from uh, from Watkin and Kostyuk again, um, but uh, but it was sort of finished off. I think in about the 86th minute, when uh, a long up and under just just caught the keeper in no man's land, it sailed over his head and just got bundled home to finish the scoring at four nil. Ultimately, I think you know. The, the, the scoreline doesn't really ref, reflect the balance of play, particularly when you factor in the conditions as well. So you really have to give credit to everybody um, involved with the side, both for getting the game on and for playing in the right spirit. Because, you know, in, I've seen games get out of hand in situations like that. It's tiring. The ground is boggy. You know, it really saps the, you know, the, 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 the kind of the strength from the legs, doesn't it? When you have to wade through, you know, kind of mud and slosh and, you know. So fair play. Everybody played the game in the right spirit. I don't remember there being one book in. Um, or, or, or sort of any uh, you know any any rancor in the game. It was it was played in a, in a really good spirit of, of competitive football and uh, and fair play to everybody for that. Um, the managers. I had a chat with the manager after the game. Brief one. Um, uh, Lee Walkinshaw, who was uh, who was taking uh, take, taking charge of the team um, just on his uh, on his Jack Jones with uh, with uh, the other half of the management duo, Lee Petch away on holiday with his family. Um, and he's, you know, re- reflective of the overall feeling around the ground. Really, that the, you know, the lads did well for the first half. Really made a fist of it, and probably can consider themselves unlucky not to have at least got one. Um, but uh, the conditions were challenging, and we have to give credit to the opposition as well, who were in the position that they're in for a reason. So difficult to disagree with any of that. Um, obviously, they'll be looking for an improvement on uh, on uh, Easter Monday, um, which is tomorrow. This is being filmed on Sunday, um, so happy Easter, everyone! By the way, um, but uh, they'll be looking for an improvement and not, and a bit of a measure of revenge as well against Titherington Rocks, who uh, who unfortunately we went uh, away to and lost two nil, um, I think, just last week. So um, so yeah, you know some stuff to be positive about um, you know lots to go at and uh, you know again we'll look to finish strong it'd be great to see as many fans down there as possible um, at 3 o'clock tomorrow the kickoff is at 3pm so uh, do please get down if you can and show your support for the final home game of the season um, and that's about it really obviously you know the only other thing I'd say is you know please do uh, like subscribe share comment all of that YouTube stuff I'm sure you know the kind of thing that I'm speaking about and uh, yeah thanks for watching and uh, up the Saints <laughs>